Right, hi there guys. So we're on day three, and day three is looking a little bit good. What we're going to be talking about today is your irresistible offer. This is the way we're going to get people to come in and actually buy what it is that you're selling. So I do have a couple of things to go over just off um, the feedback I've gotten off the first two days so far. So hopefully you can bear with us here. So first off, we're going to talk about your irresistible offer and a few things to go over just quickly. So let's just share my screen because um, I do have a couple of little bits and bobs I've made up. Um, I've made up my slides, so let's face it, we all know how bad I can be with slides. So a couple of things to go over nice and quickly. So day one, I showed you a roadmap. I showed you what you should be going for and how you're going to design your own map and where you're going to be going in the future. So I went through quite a few different things about building sales flows and whatnot. Now, I have been getting some questions back about um, what you should be doing next. What What's the next bit? What's the next bit? What's the next bit? The thing is, is... This is what I'm, I'm giving you as an overall future, right? So what we're going to do is we're only going to do it one step at a time. Now, there is a good reason why I'm only doing it one step at a time. If I come out and I teach you everything all in one go, what's going to happen is you're going to get really overwhelmed and you're not going to have a chance to really take everything in of what I'm trying to teach you. Um, and so that's going to that's going to really hinder where you're going to be in the future. It's going to really take you down a fair few notches. And it's going to get you not to go to the place where you want to be. It's going to get you stuck where you're going to be. So by doing it a day at a time, this is how I'm going to get you unstuck. So where have you been stuck with for the last six months, three weeks, six years, whatever it is, you haven't been moving forward the way that you should have been moving forwards, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this. So with any luck, what I'm wanting you to do, I'm wanting you to actually follow these steps so we can get you unstuck and we can actually get you on the proper path, the correct path, what we're going to lead you all the way down to get to your final successful results, right? I hope that makes sense. So when it's time for the next answer, so once you're following the thing, then you're gonna get it. So yesterday we talked about our small steps, making into our mini results. Today we're gonna to be talking about the offer. So we've already got a nice mini result because obviously you've done the video last night. Um, so you've already got your mini result. You've got that all sorted out. You've got your hour long teaching. So now we need to make an offer where we can actually go and sell them, right? Uh, and you need them um, so when you need the answers they will be there in fact whatever spell the things right so first off how many people's actually done the video hands up and i want everybody to be really really honest with yourselves here what i found is only around about 10 percent of all the people who have who's done the video straight away right now again i'm going to stress this again because i can't stress it highly enough do this video what's going to happen is it might not be your first sales flow that gets you going. This might not be your own personal Amazon, right? It might not be your first, it might not be your second, it might be your third. But the thing is, you can't get to your first, second, third, fourth until you take that first step, right? It might be a 10th sales flow, not funnel. Um, might be your 10th sales flow that gets you the sales what you're after. But unless you get your first step done, you're never ever going to make it to your 10th. Okay, so you've got to move forward. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Nothing ever is. Um, as you probably noticed, I don't particularly worry about being perfect. I just worry about getting the stuff out there, um, which is the most important thing. It's The only thing that matters to you is what sticks, right? So we're going to make all these different sales flows over time, and we're going to throw them out. And we're going to find out what sticks on the wall. We're going to find out what hook works best. We're going to find out what offer works best. We're going to find out all these different things. And it's all a learning process, right? I'm not going to... There's no way of actually cheating this learning process. You can't go out and learn it one day and say, right, okay, well, Sean says the perfect hook is this. And yes, that might be the perfect hook for something I'm doing, but it might not be the perfect hook for you. And we want you to be your own independent business, your own independent company as well, right? So even though you're going to be selling chat ammo, hopefully, and you might decide that you don't want to, but even if you're going to be selling chat ammo, um, or whatever it is, right, Groove, click funnels. Um, active campaign, it doesn't make a difference. I want you to be your own independent company selling these things as well. So when I say you're unselling the products, what do I actually mean, right? Now, this is something that has got um, some people kind of confused uh, because they think, well, I'm an affiliate marketer. I haven't got my own product. So how am I meant to sell? Like, I can't do what I'm on saying. So what I want to do is I want you to forget more or less about the products, right? Now bear with us. I'm going to, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So if you have one product that is not a business, right? Um, if you only have one product, you're going to be struggling all the way along. You're never going to actually get there. 
all the dream all your clients care about is the result that they're going to get. So, prime example, uh, bum, 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 there we go. Actually, we'll put those two in as well before I get to this bit. So, your business is to get your client results, right? So, they don't care about that product, they only care about the result. Now, I'm not here to sell you chat ammo, right? Even though I own chat ammo, I would love it if you bought chat ammo and everything else. My mission is to get you success that you want and that you've actually worked for and deserve. Now, I know that part of that part of that success is by using chat ammo, right? So I know that one of these steps is and then click on chat ammo and get that installed and get your whole message out there and automated. And this is really important because you need to know what the end result is, right? So the end result for you guys is hopefully success. And so by not going out and trying to sell you chat ammo and just there you go, there's a product. I'm going to be giving you all of this behind the scenes kind of things. So customers aren't coming to you because they want to buy your product. They're coming to you because they want an end result. And if you can give them that end result, then you're flying. So one of the prime examples of this, and you've all heard it before, I'm sure, a drill. Right now, there's loads of businesses out there that go out and they sell a drill. Now, the thing is, nobody actually goes out to the shops and wants a drill. They want a hole in the wall. This is the result that they want. And this is the result to pay money. They don't care if it's a drill that puts the hole in the wall, a magic wand that puts a hole in the wall. Um, somebody comes out and puts a hole in the wall for them. They don't care. They want to hang the shelf up or they want to hang a picture up. So that's the only thing that they're concerned about. They know that a drill will actually do this for them. Um, so that's why they're going out to buy a drill. But he's a, he's just an example of the sort of thing that is a result. This is just the result. If you can show them a better version of a drill um, that they didn't have to go out and buy, like after all, who wants to spend $50 on a drill just to get a hole in your wall? Um, so perhaps hiring one, perhaps getting somebody over to go and drill a hole for them. All these different things, as long as you can get the end result for them, they don't care. Um, they just want that result and they want it now. So I want a picture hung up behind me right now. I need a drill. Well, I don't in here because I made, I made it so we don't need a drill. But you, you get the idea. Now, this goes the same. Um, sell the hole in the wall. That's the hole in your wall. Um, so if you want to build a huge business, you're not just going to sell them the result, right? You have to just sell them the result, right? You can't just sell the product. If you were going out and just trying to sell drills, what's going to happen is it's not going to build you a huge business. Your business is going to hit the ceiling because you would have sold all the drills. Um, all the drills are sold and you're becoming commoditized, right? Now I'm going to go into that a little bit later about the commodities and whatnot. Um, because I've got an awful lot as well on your one pager today. So there's a stack to watch. So, somebody the other week was asking me about selling supplements and protein powders and things like this. Now, that's all well and good. And yes, you can go out and you sell protein powders through to ammo and it'll work an absolute dream. Um, it'll also work selling via Amazon and selling everywhere else. The only problem is, is that there's a load of people out there selling protein powder. Now, I know nobody really wants to go out and drink protein powder. You don't go out and think, right, I go to the pub. What do I want to drink? Um, do you do protein shakes? It's not something that happens. So the people who order protein powder, they want it for something in particular. So they want it for more muscle, less fat. Um, it could be absolutely anything, right? Why they want more protein in their diet. So your result that you would sell to them, the protein would, the protein powder would only be a small part of the process. So what we could do, um, I've done this before. Actually, I bought a pair of um, gymnastics rings, right? That are in the back, um, back garden there. Now, the gymnastics rings, i seen a load on Amazon, and this price has started off about 14 quid, something like this. Right, so around about 14 pounds. However, there was another one, which is a nice wooden one, um, so maybe we're talking 30 pounds. But the ones I bought come with a DVD, they come with a full training regime, they come with a diet sheet, they come with all sorts of all these different things. All of a sudden, for exactly the same set of gym rings I could have bought anywhere, I then went out and paid, I think I paid about 40 quid for them. Now, I already know the diet thing. I've actually got qualifications. I already know the diet thing. I already know the workout things. I already know all of that. But because this come with all of this extra, I wasn't too concerned with the price. All of a sudden, that price didn't matter to me. I wanted to buy that particular thing. And this is what you guys are doing. So like I'm saying, for the protein, you could attach workout programs, diets, recipes, absolutely all sorts you could put in there to increase the perceived value. And again, the protein powder might not even be your main thing. It might be selling weights, in which case you could put in protein powder, creatine, and all of these various different things, which then give you a load of other added value. The perceived value goes through the roof. So 
now your price becomes irrelevant. If you are an Amazon seller, right? And we've got a couple of Amazon sellers in here. If you're an Amazon seller and you're just going on, you're selling a product, what then happens is you're now in the price range where you're going to have to keep on dropping your price because you're probably like me when you go on Amazon. Um, I search for something, then I look for what's the cheapest. Then I go, right, I'll just have that. Um, unless I can see a huge offer. And if I see a huge offer, then all of a sudden, well, that offer looks much better value than what I'm going to get that, even though it's 30, 40, 50 pounds more expensive. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to pay more. And this is what we need to keep in mind when we're making up our offers. This brings us out of the commodity space and into our own. We're now a marketplace of one, right? So where has you got a marketplace of many selling gym rings? Um, if you've got all of these added extras, all of a sudden you're in one person marketplace. Sorry, Doug just ran outside. Uh, you're in a one person marketplace where you haven't, you haven't got anybody else to argue with. You've got nobody else to fight with. You've got nobody else who's any competition to you at all. So back to the recording that you did yesterday. So if what you recorded yesterday was bad, right? And you didn't like it, don't panic. Just record it again, make it better. It does not need to be perfect, right? I need you to go out and make this recording, right? Remember, we need to take the first step so we can get the 10th step. Um, and without this recording, we're going to be launching a sales floor very, very shortly, right? And without this recording, we can't launch a sales floor because we haven't got nothing to sell. Now remember, I've already given you a load of lead magnets, but I prefer you to use your own. You're more than welcome to use mine. But if you use your own, it's going to work better for you because you're going to start building up your own influence <clears throat> and your own brand. So we had some sub results that you recorded um, to a tangible thing. So this, these sub results that you recorded yesterday <coughs> are now a tangible thing. And they're going to be your very first product. These are going to be the things that you're going to go out and be able to sell. All right. And this is really important. So we now need to make a product, which is something that isn't worth $7, but worth hundreds, right? So remember yesterday when I was saying, we're going to sell this for $7. We're still going to do that, but we're going to make the perceived value to hundreds of dollars, not just this $7 which we're asking for. So that becomes a complete no-brainer, right? It becomes an irresistible offer, which everybody wants to see it. I've got to go, well, I'd be stupid enough to get it. Um, it's done very, very well through a lot of various different funnels, which I'm going to go through in the one pager. So you can have your product as the first part of the offer, and then the rest of the steps, the steps that we named out yesterday, all of the different steps that come to make your um, sub-result, Right, all of those different steps can be part of your upsell and um, part of your offer. So it's going to be part of the, the bonuses that they're going to get. It's going to be when you buy this, I'm going to give you this, 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 and this. All of your various different steps, right? So this is the way we're going to actually start becoming a marketplace of one. So you keep setting the value until you have a complete offer stack, right? So the value is going to keep on increasing. You would have seen it on a lot of my pages um, on chatalma.com, on fulltemplates.net. I have a load of office, office stacks. One of them is worth 19,000. So they get 19,000 pounds worth of stuff if they buy my software for X amount of pounds. Now, these office stacks are going to be increasing even further because we're going to be using an awful lot of this training to use as part of the office stack as well. So we want, I want people to come into our world, like the chat ammo world, and I want them to be able to go out and start becoming successful themselves. As part of my mission statement, I want to be able to have people who can earn what they want to earn. Not just about my software, but about the whole package. So about the whole chat ammo place um, of where it is, how to learn things. And we're going to do this via teachings, books, and all the rest of it. So we're going to make this, this whole ecosystem a completely unique ecosystem. It's going to be something that is really special, and there's only really special people who's in it because they're going to see the value in it. So we're going to make it so that people would say, it'd be crazy to say no. So if somebody says no to this whole office stack, you would think, well, there's something seriously the matter with them, right? So, like I said, the office stack, um, the one that I used an example there, my, which one is it? It's chatammo.com. I think there's 19,000 pounds of value in there. Um, and because it's 19,000 pounds of value, they can get for $77 at the moment. It's changing, obviously, um, very, very shortly. In fact, on Sunday. Um, then it seems really cheap in somebody's mind. So somebody looks at that offer, thinks, well, that's, that's stupid. I've got to buy it because I'm getting all these other bits. That's going to solve a load of my other problems all at the same time. So what you need to think about is what would your ideal client need 
in an offer to make sure that they were successful. So what pieces of their puzzle are they missing? Right. And again, this is all by your steps to get to that one sub level. That's why we've done the homework yesterday. So we've got all of these um, sub steps. So now we've got the sub steps, the, the steps which make us up the sub result. And then the sub result, we can now bring them on the bigger result and the various other sub steps because now they're in our ecosystem. So there's two frames of mind when making up an offer. And the one frame of mind is that you go out and you come up with all the different steps and you list all those steps underneath. Now, there's another frame of mind um, is the likes of using software, checklists, guides, all the rest of it. And all those get added into your offers as well. Now, you're going to see this a lot as well. And um, I think myself and Martin's hooking up um, to give you guys an even better offer um, where we're going to give away his software as well. Right. So it's going to be another part on my offer stack. Um, so if you're going out and sell, then it's going to be another part on your offer stack. But do your own offer stack as well, right? So what I want to do um, within the one page is I want to go through and want to look at what everybody else is using their offer stacks, right? We will want to now build up our offer stack so that it is purely outstanding, right? So we're going to look at what the other people are offering. We're going to look at if we are the best out there and if we're not the best out there, we're going to make sure our offer blows everybody else out of the water, right? Now we're going to do this specifically for each, that's the first time I managed to say that word, for each and every single um niche that we're going after so my niche i'm going to concentrate on why i'm showing you all of this lot is going to be the affiliate niche so i'm going to go after affiliate marketers um we're going to make the offer stack tailored to them affiliate marketers and that's the way we're going to get them all in there all right so that's it for now um if you want to jump over to your one pager which should be up pretty well it should be up now actually and um, should be a link below um and then what you can do is work through your one pager Please fill it all out. It's so important that you fill out your one page as you're going through. Um, when you fill out your one page, you're going to find so much information in there. And it's going to give you a complete sheet, cheat sheet all the way through. Um, and remember, this is something as well that you can use for yourselves if you're wanting to make your offers and give them more tangibility. Um, or there's particularly strategy and tech tactics that you've got to go through or how-tos, things like this. It's completely free for your first one, so don't worry about it. Um, you can try it out, see if it does add any value. I'm not saying buy it. Um, just have a go of it if it would add value to what you're doing. Okay, so thanks for watching and speak soon. Cheers. Bye.